Hi there, today I'm going to do a short demonstration of how to build a small nuclear reactor. Here I built a reactor out of concrete blocks and safety glass. The front side and the top is made of um, safety glass, so we have a chance to see what's going on inside. Inside we have eight uranium rods that will be used to boil the water. Uh, we need water in there and for this I made these two pipes going from the ocean and up here. There are two pumps here and they need, there has to be some initial power to get the pumps going. So over here I have placed some solar panels, the sun is shining, and a little windmill and a larger windmill, wind turbines. So I'm just going to connect the wind turbines with the power transformer. The power transformer distributes power in an area and to see this area, I press the control key, I can see this area now has power. Um, so, you can see here, yeah, we're in the power area. So I'm just gonna turn on the pumps and you can hear the pump spinning so the water will start uh, flowing in. As you can see the water looks a bit funny now but yeah the game is still in beta so I'm gonna fix this. But anyhow water is now flowing into the chamber and the uranium rods as you can see here starts heating up the water which becomes steam and that's the white blocks. Slowly uh, the pressure um, rises in the chamber and um, to have a constant pressure in a chamber like this we probably would, will need about two or three layers of steam. So first steam is coming out, still a bit more, still more pressure is needed to have a constant um, flow of steam. The steam can be used to drive uh, small, medium and large steam turbines for now. We are also going to add a oil and coal and wood burner so you can fuel um, steam turbines with steam that comes basically from burning wood or oil or coal and, and so forth. Water is rising have a more stable pressure now but still a bit more to go um, as with the power system uh, the pipe systems are completely dynamic and can be changed on the fly so if I want to make a new turn here on the pipe and make it go somewhere else or if I want to make a pipe to the top of a building and make a swimming pool off the top of the building I can use I can do that in a real time, um, that will work fine. So anyway, so while this is running now, it seems to be more stable now. So let's just um, connect this pipe. So now the steam will. Well, the game automatically knows now that this pipe has been connected, um, and now the steam will go this way through the pipe into the big um, steam turbine here. You can see steam coming out here, and we have liftoff on the big steam turbine. You can even hear it. So let's real fast take a look what's inside big steam turbine. This will of course make it malfunction, but let's just look in. You can see the steam, turbo steam um, turbine blades in here. I'm just gonna repair that again. like that and it should turn on again since it has been repaired there you go just do this just do a just make a pipe here for this 
steam. So, but nobody gets hurt walking into the hot steam. So, like that. There you go. The steam engine, pr the big steam engine here, produces a lot of power. So, we can just connect it to the general power system. Let's just connect it from here. To yeah. And now we have a lot of power. Basically enough power to power a large city. So this is the simple way of using... Um, of creating a small nuclear reactor with uranium rods. And there's no rules about how the a reactor or um, should be designed just just follow the the rules of the real nature make a compressed confined area make sure you have water supply and so on and it'll work see now what happens if we make a hole in the in the reactor you can try that just gonna make a hole here what happens puff since we have a hole now in the reactor the the area is not confined anymore and, and pressure can't uh, build up so we can just um, make it complete again and you can see the steam now is now can now be compressed again of course the big turbine has stopped since we didn't have steam going but in a little while it should be all um, fine and running again yeah thanks for watching this little demo of how to using steam uranium rods steam turbines power systems bye for now